Hello everyone, my name is Holden Hardman. Thank you so much for joining us again for another video. Today we are finally doing it, How to Train Your Dragon. There are a few series on the channel that we have had requested as much as the How to Train Your Dragon trilogy, so I'm so excited to finally show Jen this movie. I have seen the first one, it has been a long time, I really don't remember much about it, and I have not seen two and three. I do know that there are definitely going to be aspects of this movie that Jen is going to love. I am looking forward to a rewatch on my part. We just have tons and tons of people requesting us to do How to Train Your Dragon. So I'm excited to watch it. Jen, what do you know about it? And how are you feeling going into it? Part of it, but I also thought that it was the other dragon movie that was like in the 70s or the 80s. Pete's Dragon, yeah. Pete's Dragon, yes. That's the one that I thought this movie was. Really going into it with an open mind, but it does have a dragon, so I feel like Knowing my personality, I'm gonna love it. I and mean, we don't watch a lot of movies with dragons in it. So this is, again, gonna be kind of a first. I'm excited for that. Speaking of dragon movies we need to watch, we do need to watch The Hobbit at some point. A little bit of channel uh, general update information. We have received a copyright strike. That's right, we got it for Fast X when we were doing the Fast and Furious movies. I posted a thing on the community tab about that, so that's been very, very stressful. I reached out to YouTube. There's a, supposedly a contact that once you get to like a certain number of subscribers or a certain level that you can like talk to about issues like this. I reached out to them about four days ago. I have yet to hear a response, and I decided, you know what, screw it. We're gonna go ahead and fight the copyright strike. So I went ahead and initiated that process. And so, you know, fingers crossed that that works out for us. I don't know if that's affected like how YouTube is is recommending videos. There's a few videos that not a lot of people saw. Went to Megacon a, a little week ago, had a lot of fun there. Got to meet Sean Chandler, a couple other uh, YouTubers that do movie reviews and stuff. Uh, explored the con, got to go to Universal Studios Islands of Adventure when it was pretty much empty. Explored the park, a, a lot of fun. So make sure you go check that out. Jen and I, we watched the movie Big Fish. It's a Tim Burton film. We went to the filming location of Spectre and we did our post discussion where they filmed the movie. I thought that was really cool. So make sure you check that one out too. So that's just a little bit of updated information for you. But before we get into How to Train Your Dragon, we can't forget the comment of the day. Today's comment of the day comes from Angel HDZ underscore 007, who says, please do How to Train Your Dragon next. I think it's another series that all three movies are great. Honestly, my favorite trilogy of animated movies. A lot of similar feelings for when we did the Kung Fu Panda movies. I, I agree, I thought all three of those were great. And we're actually gonna be filming a reaction to the Kung Fu Panda 4 trailer later today, and that should be posted the next day or so. So subscribe so you'll be notified when we post that. So that's got me very, very excited. My, my expectations are high for all three of these How to Train Your Dragon movies. So let's go ahead and get started with the first one, How to Train Your Dragon. This is Burke. It's located solid. Wait, is this Harry Potter? Of misery. <laughs> We have fishing, hunting, and a charming view of the sunsets. You see, most places have mice or mosquitoes. We have dragons. <gasps> they're Vikings! Oh, yeah. I forgot to tell you, they're Vikings. Oh, yay! Say that when he was a baby, he popped a dragon's head clean off of its shoulders. What have we got? Oh, yeah, he looks like a Viking. Oh, yeah! Oh, I can already tell him to like this movie. I thought you'd been carried off. Well, who, me? They would know what to do with all this. Wow. <laughs> See? Old village, lots and lots of new houses. Astrid. Astrid? <laughs> <laughs> you can't even throw one of these. And by this, we'll throw it for me. Oh. You need to stop all this. But you just pointed to all of me. Yes. Keeping this much raw Vikingness. <laughs> Killing a dragon is everything around here. Gronkles are tough. A simple back, two heads, twice the status. They found the sheep! The monstrous nightmare. Only the best Vikings go after those. The ultimate prize is the dragon no one's ever seen. Night Fury! Get down! <laughs> never shows itself and never misses. That's why I'm going to be the first. Where are you going? Come back yeah, here! Yeah, I know. Be right back! Oh, man. Did anybody see that? Whoa. 
That's his dad? Yeah. It's like the chief of the whole tribe. Okay, but I hit a night fury. Oh, uh, it's not like the last <laughs> few times, Dad. Let's get a search party out there before Stop! I... Just stop. Many things hiccup. But a dragon killer is not one of them. Get back to the house. I've never seen anyone mess up that badly. Well, that's Jonah Hill. Thank you. I ordered an extra large boy with beefy arms, extra guts and glory on the side. It's not so much what you look like, it's what's inside that he can't stand. <laughs> find the nest and destroy it. The dragons will leave. They'll find another hole. Those who stay will look after Hiccup. I refuse to it. Yeah, yeah, that's more like it. He doesn't listen. He has the attention span of a sparrow. Can't stop him, Stoic. You can only prepare him. Lose an entire dragon? Ow! <laughs> the animation has a different type of look to it. Yeah. <gasps> what year was this made? 2010. I have brought down this mighty beast! No. <laughs> wow, that looks great. Oh! Oh! Kill it. He's cute. Stab it. No! Stop it! Take it back! I'm gonna kill you, dragon. Do what you gotta do, bud. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut He's already tied up! Well, I'm you want him to be a Viking. That's what Vikings do. Cut that heart out. No. Do it! I shouldn't have attacked the village then. Ooh. Cool looking eye. Yeah. I'll see you in the morning when I wake you up. Everything okay, sweetie? <laughs> I think it's time to, to fight dragons. dragons. What? Yeah. Bread making Vikings or small home repair <laughs> Vikings. Yes. Small home no repair Vikings. No more of this. You just gestured to all of me. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Dragon Training. No turning back. I hope I get some serious burns. I'm hoping for some mauling, like on my shoulder and lower. I get some serious burns. Pain. Love it. Oh. <laughs> Hiccup already killed a Night Fury, so does that disqualify him or? Oh no. The deadly Nada. Speed 8, armor 16. The Hetius. <laughs> Fire Bam. power 15. The Terror. Ter Attack 8, Venom 12. Can you stop that? Like D&D stats. Whoa, 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 wait. Aren't you going to teach us first? What's the first thing you're going to need? A doctor? Plus five speed? A doctor. <laughs> it's like a million shields. Take that one. That's flower on it. Girls like flowers. <laughs> 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 Come buy some time to work out. You look like you work out. <laughs> Pick up! <laughs> mm. Overdoing shots. <laughs> A dragon will always, always go for the kill. But that other dragon didn't. Yeah, this kid kind of looks like Fox. He does, actually. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, is that same dragon? Yeah. He's injured. Pretty dragon. Oh. I don't like that. Oh. He's so cute. Yeah. Where did Hiccup go wrong? Uh, he showed up. He didn't get eaten. He showed up. <laughs> Gronkle, Zipple back. The Skrill brings its victims inside out. Extremely <laughs> dangerous. Extremely dangerous. Night Fury. Speed unknown. The unholy offspring of lightning and death itself. Nobody listens to Floki. Nobody listens to Floki. Job is to be I wonder if they made a video game. I feel like there's a lot of material here for a video game. Well, how would one sneak up on a night fury? No one's ever met one and lived to tell the tale. Now get it! Watch out, babe. I'll take care of this. <laughs> Watch out, babe. Oh my gosh. 
Love on the battlefield. <laughs> oh, nice. Well done, Astrid. I love this dragon. Oh boy, here we go. Toothless. Sworn you had. I don't have any more. Oh god, it's Falcon. It is Falcon. Powerful, but harmless. Powerful might be a stretch, but. She is powerful. Oh, yeah. I know you'd love this. So sweet. If it can't fly, it can't get away. A downed dragon is a dead dragon. Wow. It's a bird. <laughs> okay, I've been stuck with you since. <laughs> You're hungry. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's it. That's it. Minding my own business. They're trying to change hero now. <laughs> really is. Stop! Oh, that's cool. Ah! Hey, it's us. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with a dragon esque figure. Ah! <laughs> oh. Whoa, whoa. I like all the dragon designs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. Pick up! Back. Back. Now, don't you make me tell you again. Yes, that's right. Back. All right. Okay, so are we done? Hey! <laughs> it looks like it works, but he's just not used to it. The kid has to be there to like hold the tail open. It's not just like open on its own, I guess. <laughs> More like a cat. <laughs> like the size of my <laughs> Jeez. He's better than you ever were. Oh yeah, she's suspicious. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's gonna get caught doing this. Yeah. I normally don't care what people do, but you're acting weird. I trust you found the nest at least. Not even close. Ah, excellent. Congratulations, Stoic! Everyone is so relieved! He's gone? Most afternoons, but who can blame him? I mean, the life of a celebrity is very rough. He has this way with the beasts. We're gonna take this nice and slow. Here we go, oh, here we go. Is it? Aww. That looks like it'd be a lot of fun. Scary, yeah. but fun. Yes, it worked. Oh, that's my fault. Yeah. <laughs> the wind in my teaching. No! 
Oh no. <gasps> no! Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I hope you weren't too attached to him. Stop! Wait, the kid? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I care You don't care about, about the, the kid? <laughs> the dragon! Oh, I love the wind on the side. Oh, the wings. You're just gonna have to feel it, bud. Sweet. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Not so fireproof on the inside, are you? There you go. Aww. Everything we know about you guys is wrong. They're like our babies. Yeah, they're like these guys here. Don't you just love them? Yeah, they're the best. I, uh, just how long did you think you could hide it from me? I, I... Let's talk about that dragon. <laughs> Not upset? Uh, what? I was hoping for this. Uh, just wait till you spill a nadder's guts for the first time. What a yeah. feeling. Oh, man. All those years of the worst Viking Burke has ever... <laughs> we finally have something to talk about. Oh, gosh. Ah, your mother would have wanted you to have it. It's half of her breastplate. <laughs> Dicks his hand off. And for the, uh, if you like the uh, breast hat. The hat. The breast hat. Stay out of my way. I'm winning this thing. <laughs> Later. Uh oh, not so fast. Uh, I, I'm kind of late for. Oh, uh, boy. We're leaving. <laughs> Back up. Oh, man. Ah, what? Uh, 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 Start talking. Uh, uh, Are I, you training I, I, with uh, someone? Uh, training? Here we go. Ow, why would you do that? <laughs> That's for the lies. <gasps> Get down! <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. It's okay. You just scared him. I scared him? Toothless? Astrid. <laughs> da, 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 where's his face? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, ah! oh, great, oh, Just let me show you. <laughs> Nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> Toothless! Not usually like this. Oh no. <laughs> Toothless, what are you doing? We need her to like us! Oh gosh. Thank you for nothing, you useless reptile. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just get me off of this thing. That's real pretty. I can show you <laughs> the world. Oh, cool. That was, a cool. that was a great shot. This is pretty cool. Your final exam is tomorrow. You know you're gonna have to. Oh, don't remind me. Ah! Toothless, what's happening? Oh. Uh. <laughs> Oof. That's a lot of dragons. What's going on? It looks like they're hauling in their kill. So did Toothless no, no. go that way Dump down a hole. to try and avoid, like, suspicion? I guess so. Yeah, he just kind of got caught up in the crowd. <laughs> but he also heard him say, like, he's going to kill a dragon. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. All the food they're bringing is like an offering to this thing. We got to get out of here. Now. Whoa. It's like a giant beehive. They're the workers, and that's their queen. They'll kill Toothless. We have to think this through carefully. To protect your pet dragon? Are you serious? Yes. Then what do we do? Well, she's on board. Give me until tomorrow. That's for kidnapping me. That's for everything else. Whoa. 
Way to go, Hiccup. Mm. What, what are you looking at? I can show my face in public again. <laughs> Jeez. Somebody told me Hiccup would go from, well, being uh, the Hiccup. Oh, no. <laughs> and you know really hard on his son. Yeah. The day my boy becomes a Viking. What are you going to do? Put an end to this. I have to try. Yeah! What is he doing? Hey, it's okay. It's okay. I'm not one of them. Oh. Stop the fight. No. I need you all to see this. We don't have to kill them. Stop the fight! Uh. Oh. Oh. This is gonna try and save him. This way! Oh, yeah. Ooh. How Falcon would be if somebody Please, tried Falcon. to attack us. The Falcon would tell, tell them where the people are. Aren't you? Oh. oh no! Oh, I can't watch this. Don't hurt him. Oh, baby, I don't want to watch this. Well, they kill him pretty fast, so you don't have to worry about that. What? I mean, never mind. They don't kill him. No, that'd be that'd be crazy. No, we did, but that that was before I. Do they kill him because I don't want to watch if they kill him. Uh, oh, could you imagine them doing that? Like, before now, kids I movie. Whoa. Take this out. You almost killed? He was just protecting me. He, he's not dangerous. If they don't bring enough food back, something else on their island, Dad. I'd... So you've been to the nest? Did I say nest? How did you find them? But not what you think. You don't know what you're up against. It's like nothing you've ever seen. Would you please just listen to me? Oh, no. You're not my son. <gasps> oh. Oh, my gosh. Oh my god. This is like those ASPCA commercials where you see the dogs chained up outside in the cold and it's snowing. Yeah, it'll be alright. Makes you wonder uh, who was filming that in HD. You know, so they just like scour neighborhoods and just like try and find it. Or... You're missing the point. Right, right, yeah, it's sad. You've lost everything. Father, your tribe, your best friend. Why couldn't I have killed that dragon when I found him in the woods? The rest of us would have done it. So why didn't you? Why is this so important to you all of a sudden? Because I want to remember what you say. I wouldn't kill a dragon. You said wouldn't that time. 300 years and I'm the first Viking who wouldn't kill a dragon. First to ride one though. I wouldn't kill him because he looked as frightened as I was. What are you going to do about Some it? Some empathy right there. Sound your positions. Stay within your shot. Some of them are wondering what it is we are up to here. It is in fact a plan at all. And what it might be. Oh. Nice and simple. Shh. You can't look at him. I'm scared. You were wise to seek help from the world's most deadly weapon. <laughs> You're crazy. I like that. <laughs> I was wondering where that went. <laughs> Wait, what are you? Shh. It's okay. <laughs> All hell is going to break loose, and my undies. Good thing I'm- Wow. <laughs> In my undies. <laughs> oh. Mm, that's insane. Oh. 
Is that it? We've done it! Oh boy. Yes. Big one. That's a big boy. Oh, big boy. Now that's a dragon. Oh, wow. Yeah, y'all are not prepared. Oh! Whoa. Poor Toothless is in there. Oh, no! Jeez. All of us. <laughs> Heavily armored skull and tail made for passion and crushing. Steer clear of both. Relies on hearing and smell. Okay. <laughs> this thing doesn't have a blind spot. <laughs> Go help the others. <laughs> I'm okay. That's <laughs> okay. What's wrong, buddy? You got something in your eye? <laughs> Oh, there's a video game we need to play called Shadow of the Colossus, which is a lot like this. Uh oh. Oh no, come on. Hurry up. R.I.P. Toothless. No! R.I.P. Hiccup. Oh good. Oof. That was a close one. Pick up! I'm sorry. For, for everything. You don't have to go up there. An occupational hand. Wow, did you see the detail on like the hair on his like <clears throat> arms? Oh yeah, a little fuzz there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of things that are like notoriously difficult in animation. Water and fire are two big ones. And that's like what most of this is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah Whoa. Taking flight. That's a chunky dragon. <laughs> what we like to call a busted can of biscuits. Here it comes! I like his fire attacks. Oh no! Buddy, we're good. Just a little bit longer. Now! Ooh. Oh gosh. Oh. oh. Wow. No! Oh no. Wow, what a shot too. his leg. Oh. Well, oh, now they oh, match. Yeah. They're missing his tail. Well, that's it. Here we go. How long has he been out? He was probably in a coma if he like got transported back here. I knew. And the whole village assimilates with the dragons and they sure. gave him a prosthetic leg. What do you think? <laughs> Turns out all we needed was a little more of this. You just gestured all of me. Ah. That's 
for scaring me. Could it be this way? Cause I could get used to it. Yeah, hiccup. Oh, cool. This is Burke. <laughs> Any food that grows here is tough and tasteless. While other places have ponies or parrots, we have dragons. All right, just finished watching How to Train Your Dragon. I do have a confession to make. After seeing the second half of this movie, I realized I had not seen any of that. I think there must have been a time where I think I watched like the first half of this movie and then thought that I had just watched the whole thing, but I definitely did not see that latter half, like the whole part with that giant dragon. That was all new to me, and uh, I didn't say anything during the reaction, but I figured I'd mention it in this post-discussion part. So, <laughs> really, this was a first watching for me, too. Jan, I'd love to know what you thought of it, especially knowing your love for animals, and I'm sure a lot of that resonated with you. What did you think? I absolutely loved it. I loved the dragon, Toothless. There's no talking going on from that character, but you still feel so much emotion from him and so much character. So I really loved Toothless as a whole. I thought he was fantastic. All black, he had these really penetrating green eyes. Uh, I thought that was very well done, especially because he is set apart from the other dragons. All the other dragons are very colorful, in my opinion, a lot bigger except for those small little tiny ones. I love Toothless, and I think that he really carried a lot of the film, him and- Hiccup. Hiccup. Him and Hiccup really carried the film. Hiccup is a Viking, and Vikings are supposed to kill these dragons. You know, it's in their bloodline. The fact that he befriends this dragon is just amazing. I feel like there's so much to explore there. I love that Hiccup communicated. When I looked at him, I saw fear and he basically compared it to himself. And I thought that was fantastic that basically he saw himself in this dragon. So I thought that was absolutely beautiful. The fact that Vikings, had you told me that Vikings were going to be like the characters in this movie, I would have right off the bat been like, oh yeah, I'm absolutely gonna love it. Everything from the animation I thought also looked completely different than most of the movies that we saw. I can't really put my finger on it, but it looked very, very different. And it was very well done, you know? I love the fact that like, the images that we are seeing on this movie are like breathing fire, cruising over the ocean. That's beautiful. That's something I want to watch in a movie. I can't lie, you know, the fact that it has animals and Vikings are probably the biggest reason why I love it. But it is what it is. Absolutely watch this movie again. I cannot wait to see the follow-up film. What would you rate this? I did forget to mention that it's not just an, a relationship between this dragon and Hiccup. Hiccup's father, expectations that your parents have for you. That is something I feel like everybody can relate to on some level. The fact that Hiccup did not fulfill exactly what his father wanted him to do, which was kill dragons and in his eyes be a big man. But in the end, he did make him proud in another way. I thought that was fantastic and that's something I would definitely want my kids to see. So I would rate this, I'm gonna rate it a 10 because wow. Um, I think that it had a great message overall. I loved the relationship that it explored. I loved the setting of the film. I loved the type of characters. Um, I absolutely loved it. 10 out of 10 is really, really high. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. I really liked it too. There's a lot about this movie that is like from a, just a young man's perspective, the burden of wanting to live up to your father's expectations, but being fundamentally different than who your father is. There's a lot of tropes that are very similar to that in movies. Uh, the, another animated movie that I can think of that's very similar to that is Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, where Flynn and his dad are like two very different types of people and the dad doesn't really know how to communicate with him. Similar to this, like the Viking dad, stoic, he didn't really like know how to interact with them or how to like bond with his son. And his son was kind of the same way. They're just two very different types of people. So I like seeing Hiccup kind of still become a man. You know, I know he's still a kid at the very end, but growing into like his own pathway to manhood by doing something that other Vikings couldn't because just the mentality was so different. He in a way like domesticated them. He was able to ride them, to conquer them in that way. He gets the, his little girlfriend in the end and then the whole tribe and village not only loves Hiccup at the end, but also adopts his way of 
dealing with the dragons and kind of incorporating them all together. So I really liked all that. I thought it was great. The animation in this was absolutely fantastic. Jen mentioned it was kind of different than some of the things we had seen before. It was great. It, it was like this perfect balance of realistic, but also cartoon mixed in there too. Like the environments were very realistic. The fire, the smoke, the ground, textures looked real, but our characters are still cartoony. The Good Dinosaur is a very similar feel of that where the, it's like hyper-realistic scenery. The Good Dinosaur probably more so than this, but the characters themselves are very are like animated characters. Some of the hardest things to do well are smoke, fire, and water, and that was like so heavily incorporated into this, and uh, I thought it looked beautiful. It was the first time I saw that fight scene with the, with the big dragon, and I like the idea of the dragons, they are attacking the village, but the reason they're attacking the village is because if they don't, then they will be killed or eaten by this other giant dragon thing. So it's just a huge misunderstanding because these two civilizations or these two different groups, the humans, the Vikings and the dragons, can't communicate well. And so you have Hiccup and Toothless acting as sort of, sort of this mediator between the two of them working together. I loved all of that. I'm really excited for the sequel uh, where I'm guessing we're going to see the Vikings and the dragons more incorporated, and I don't, I don't know the plot or where they'll go with that, but I am excited to check it out. For me, I'd give this movie, I'd give this movie a solid nine, a solid nine out of ten. I thought it was a great animated film. I thought it was wonderful. So thank you guys so much for recommending this. We will be doing How to Train Your Dragon two and three, but we'll probably interlace a couple of movies in between there. I know there's a few that we're just kind of wanting to see as well. So stick around for that. We will be doing those. If you enjoyed this video, leave it a like. It helps the channel out a lot. Comment down below. Of course, we'd love to know what you thought of How to Train Your Dragon, our reaction, some of our takes. If there's something that we missed, leave us a comment down below and we'll, uh, we'll see about addressing those if there's something that, oh yeah, why didn't I talk about that? That happens to us quite a bit, where after we're done filming, we're like, oh man, I totally forgot to bring up that point and do that. Subscribe, you'll be notified when we do post the next video. And check out Patreon. You can get early access to select videos just like this one. The full length reaction to How to Train Your Dragon will be over there too. We have exclusive videos, all of Invincible. We're caught up with that. It's exclusively on Patreon. Any, every single level tier patron can, has access to that. But for now, that is it. Jen and I appreciate you watching and we'll catch you in the next video. Take care, everyone.